on right now. Well, so there's a scenario. The scenario is Miss Nesbon went to Michael's to buy some curls of wisdom last night. It says use the table below to determine what her receipts look like. Okay, so first she bought a six millimeter glass pea curl, two of them, for the quantity price of one, $1.19. So, so tell me about this one, about this six millimeter glass pea pearl. It's a dollar nineteen. She bought two of them. So how much did it cost her? For these two, um, two dollars and thirty-eight cents. So what do we call this dollar <clears> nineteen? <throat> we gave it a name. <clears throat> unit something. Yeah, you're right. It's a unit price. Okay. All right, so what was your first task to do? First task was what was her total before any tax or discounts? Okay, and what did you come up with? I need you all this crazy edition. Let me, let me see your crazy edition here. Crazy edition. This is crazy edition he's talking about. And what was the total of all of those pearls? $22.39. Okay. What was the step that you had to do before you went on to the next step? Um, we had to check with the teachers our answers because all these questions are based on this answer right here. So if you had the wrong total for all the pearls, what would have happened? Then all the other answers could have been, would have been wrong. Okay. So now what's the next step for you? The next step is to find, um, well, she used her teacher ID, ID and got a 15% discount. So what are you going to do now? Um, you find 15 as a decimal of 100, of 100, which would be 0.15, and then you multiply it by this answer. Feel confident that you can do that? Mm -hmm. All right. I just got done talking to Kyle. Okay. So and Kyle was telling me about a process that he was going through and that he figured out the total amount that Mrs. Nussbaum spent. He then said it was important that he checks his answers with a teacher to see if, because if he didn't have the right answer, the rest of them were going to be wrong. He said the next step was he was going to apply a 15% discount to um, that total. What did you get for your discount? Discount, like, like the discount itself? Or mm -hmm. the yeah, how much How much did she save? $3.86. And how do you know that? What did you do? Well, at first, I did multiple, I did this multiplication with the 15 on top. Okay. Put one five on top. But I got it really, really wrong, as you can probably see, because I'm not going to pay, like, four cents for tax. Okay, I'm going to just show that here. So Tanner's referring to this. He said he multiplied 0.15 times 22.39. And you said you got that one wrong. Is that correct? Yes, okay. as you can see, because I'm not going to pay four cents tax. So I went to check. And I'm not sure it's tax, though. Um, not tax, on no, discount. So I'm not going to get a four cent discount. A four cent discount sense. did not make sense to you. That wouldn't make sense. Like, but at that at that, if it was only four cents, why wouldn't you just buy the thing itself? Okay, <laughs> okay, good. All right, so then so what I, did you do? I went to confer with Ms. Nesbaum and asked, and I, and I said, I think I did this really, really wrong. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? And she said, put the 15 below the 22.39. So I did that, and I got three point. Three five eight five. Okay. I went up to check with her. She said it was correct, and she said, "What do you do next?" I said, "Round to the nearest decimal point." And she said, "Well, what would that be?" And I uh -huh. said, three point three six, because if you, the five would round the eight up to the nine, and then the nine would round the five up to a six, and then thirty six cents. So let's hold that up here. So what I hear you saying, Tanner, is that you just kind of flipped your products around. So it's 22.39 times 0.1, or sorry, times 0 0.15, which was 
really kind of the opposite. You just kind of flip them around there. Yeah. And then you've got 3.3585. And you were going to round to what place value? What would make sense? Hundreds. Hundreds. Tell me why. Because if you round it to the, to the nearest, um, look, I don't exactly know. It's just how you do it. But why hundreds? What are we talking about here? It's money. So okay. It'd be, you wouldn't. It, it would be thirty six cents because. Just do it that way, I guess. So the next place value after hundreds is thousands, and we don't have thousands of a dollar, do we? No. Okay. So rounding it to the nearest hundred makes right. sense, right? Makes sense. Great. Thank so, you. So, Olivia, you are on the step where you've gotten to the part where you've applied the 15% discount. Mm -hmm. And what was your subtotal at that point? It was 19.0 Okay. And does that seem reasonable? If Mrs. Nussbaum paid $22.39, received a 15% discount, does $19.03 seem reasonable? And why? Um, it seems reasonable since, like, I mean, it's a 15% discount. Like, it's a discount, you subtract it, it's like less. Okay. So, what, so I hear you saying if it's a discount, the the subtotal that discounted price should be less than what she paid for. So if you get a number that's greater than what she paid for, then you know you've done something wrong. Is that correct? Yeah. Cool. Now you're on this next step of figuring out how much tax she has to pay on that subtotal. What's the uh, tax rate that you're using? Seven point eight. Seven point eight. What? Uh, percent. Percent. And how would you write seven point eight percent as a decimal? Like 0.078? Okay, so you've used that, you've used that decimal of 0 0.078, okay. There it is, perfect. Oh yeah, and it's about like you have to apply to this, the tax to the discounted version of the Right, version. yeah, so you read the instructions that use it on the discounted rate. So what was her, how much tax did she have to pay? Yeah, they pay only like a dollar, about a dollar Okay, so a little bit less than a dollar fifty, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what are you gonna do with that amount of tax and her subtotal? I'm gonna add it. So what's the total now? Twenty point fifty two. Twenty point five two. All right. So the next question says she gave her twenty the clerk twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. How much change is she gonna get back? It's gotta be, it's gonna be like a subtraction problem, since like that'll be how much she got. Okay. And I subtracted it, and I got 4.48. 4.4, right there. After I did all this. So she got 4.4, 4.48 elephants? No, dollars. No, she got dollars. 